You know, it's a good fan base. With the Razorbacks having the recent success that they've had, that just kind of fills over to what the Naturals have been doing. And baseball in the summer, man, in this area, it's there's no better spot because they want they want a team that wins, they want a team that competes. I think the cool thing about minor league baseball is that there's something for everybody. Obviously, you know, there's you got alcohol at the ballpark, you got fast food, but then to be able to come and have a, a faith and family night, to be able to have a, a ballpark and a facility like this to host something that actually draws like that and brings the acts that they bring in musically uh, is a pretty special night. I mean, Vance is great. He's so relatable. I feel like it doesn't matter what position you play, how long you've been playing. You know, you get different guys each year, and he keeps finding a way to get us division championships. He's found a way each year to not only develop these players, but he's found success on the field, and I think it's just, it's a testament to what he can do. He is the smartest baseball guy that I've ever been around. It's just the way he, he does the game, he manages the game, manages his players, he wants to win. He's going to do his best to put his players in situations to succeed and, you know, obviously three straight trips to the playoffs and that, that's the benefit of it. The biggest thing I love about the minor leagues is that connectivity you can get with the players. You know, you can be right on top of the game. Um, if you get here a little bit early, you usually get yourself done by the dugout. You can probably get an autograph. If you're an eager child and get the attention of the player, usually they'll toss you a ball. Those are the real little things, but they can go so far to create those memories that hopefully keeps people coming back. It's, it's hard to believe that it's been 10 years here, and finally with the development of the Children's Hospital and the Sam's Club and everything going up, it's starting to cultivate into a, into a thriving area in Northwest Arkansas. It's nice to see Springdale with the baseball team here as the staple now, uh, be the next growing population in the area. The biggest thing is letting our guys know that, hey, look, you're not just coming here for five months to develop as a baseball player. Uh, you're going to take a lot of pride in this area that we're in. We do different things. Uh, last year, we took a trip to the Arkansas Children's Hospital, uh, and our guys, our guys are into that. They love it. So the product on the field is always top notch. Not only good athletes, just good guys, great coaching staff, and then the ballpark itself, very fan friendly not a bad seat in the house. I hope every fan that comes here loves coming to you know, spend their quality time. It's good to just fill the seats, you know, and, and people want to come out, they want to enjoy and, you know, celebrate, enjoy the baseball game. And, you know, that along with the fireworks that we have every Friday night, the Nationals do a great job of bringing in high quality acts. We got people that follow the players, they come on the road, they'll travel up to Springfield and Tulsa and Little Rock. It's nice that we're in a division where you can make those day trips, go down, see a ball game, and still go to work the next day. So it's a very, it's a passionate fan base, knowledgeable fan base, and they show up every night. I think the one thing that changes in the culture is what, what type of team do you have, how quick can you find your identity, and, and, and how good are you at managing your team. And I think the biggest difference is you come in and you change the identity of how you think that team runs.